As the United States returns to the moon, these are the women with the right stuff, leading the Artemis program, aiming to make new history in the final frontier. When we go back to the moon with the first woman, the first person of color, those iconic boot prints mean that space and exploration are for everyone. On the ground, NASA's already changed. No longer the province of white men with crew cuts, white shirts, black ties, and cigarettes. What I can tell you is different now is there are strong, smart women in every corner of what we do at NASA. Sharon Cobb leads the team that designed and built the Space Launch System, NASA's most powerful yet. Laura Palaya helped build the Orion capsule on top. Astronaut Stephanie Wilson could fly on one of the missions. And Charlie Blackwell Thompson will give the call to go for launch. I would like to think that in being the first female launch director for NASA, the first woman in that role, that that sends a message to young women that says not only is there a place in this firing room for you, there's a place in the front of the room for you leading this team. It's inspiring for me um, to, to see that, um, to know that there is no ceiling for us, that we can go wherever we put our, our minds to. Today, 30% of NASA's senior executives are women. And on the return to the moon, 35% are changing the face of the agency while upholding its standards. Commitment, dedication, inspiration, motivation, and being steadfast and unmovable. All of that has remained the same. Why go back to the moon 50 years after the last man walked on the moon? There is so much that we did not have an opportunity to learn the last time we were on the moon. We can also learn how to live and work on another um, surface outside of the, the Earth and eventually be able to move on. The next great step will be putting humans on Mars. The four of you want to live on the moon? Oh, absolutely. It is a, it is a wonderful test bed and uh, as Sharon is saying, it really is a, a precursor for our, our Mars uh, and deep space exploration. Just one of many ways Artemis and its Orion capsule are different from the Apollo mission. In Apollo, it could carry three crew astronauts for Orion could carry four. The capability of Apollo was something that now on your cell phone, it's very similar. What hasn't changed is the crawler. This 6.6 .6 million pound beast that delivered the Apollo rockets will move the space launch system to the launch pad. But now Brianne Roloff is behind the wheel. What do you drive when you're not driving the crawler? I drive a sedan. <laughs> is it a stick shift? I don't know how to drive a stick shift, no. <laughs> but you can drive a six million pound vehicle. Yeah, why not? Artemis's first flight will have no astronauts and just orbit the moon, hopefully landing Americans back on the moon on the third or fourth trip. I remember watching with my classmates in like first, second grade, and, and I think that that doesn't change. They used to roll the TV in. The TV in, in. the black that? and white TV. <laughs> yes. Yes. On the cart. Right, and we'd all stop. And we <laughs> knew it was something huge because we just didn't have TVs in our classroom. And we were so proud. A world transfixed by Neil Armstrong's moment and the words he spoke. He said, that's, that's one, one small step for man, one giant leap for, for mankind. mankind. What will it be when a woman takes that step? It'll be the next giant leap for humankind. I felt the kind of the chill bumps on my arm at thinking of what will the first woman, the first person of color, when they step foot on the moon, what will they say? Now, the price tag for the Artemis program is $93 billion, and each of the first four flights will cost $4 billion. They are looking at a potential launch date of April and May for the first flight that's uncrewed and then landing on the moon perhaps three years from now. Isn't that a wonderful story? Really? You know what? I, I was just picturing young girls right now eating their cereal, yeah. looking at those four women going, oh, my yeah, gosh, I can do that. That, that was really cool, Am. Thank you. Can you. Do it. Thanks, yeah. Exactly. Cool. Uh -huh. Exactly. Very cool. They better get a big bake sale going now, though. Yeah. That's, a, that's a hefty <laughs> price tag. That's right. a big number. But think of all the, the innovation that's going to come mm -hmm. out. For sure. sure. It's so cool. cool what it'll do for Mars. And thanks so much. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.